Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Sunday and I know I said I wasn't going to vlog at the weekend but um, I'm just too excited to let you know what I have in my mind to start and to do and things. <laughs> um, I just don't want to wait till tomorrow but I will probably um, have this vlog up with Mondays as well so it'll be two in one again. Um, but um, anyway, I was on Instagram and uh, I've got a few things that I want to start and a few ideas of bits and bobs. Anyway, let me just go through them one at a time. Anyway, so I was on Instagram and I follow a lady called Jess and her Instagram is Jess on the plus size. Um, so go give her a follow if you're into um, like plus size hauls um, or even just sort of vlogging type thing because she sort of vlogs on her Instagram she don't have she does have a YouTube channel but she uses her Instagram more anyway so she did a story yesterday of a ASOS haul um, and there was the most beautiful top ever it was a crop top but it was so nice I went on to the website out of stock thinking hmm it's a ribbed top let me show you what it looks like um, so this is her story that orange top it is so nice um, she's just explaining that <laughs> she hasn't got a bra on um, and the skirt that she is actually wearing is from boohoo so anyway this isn't like a plug or anything but um, this is the car, this is, ah, so anyway, let me just come away from that a second. Right, so I thought, well, it's out of stock everywhere. I think it was like £9 or something. It was really, really nice, and I thought that would look really nice with high-waisted short skirts, blah, 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 blah. Um, I looked on Ravelry, thinking it's probably something I could make. Um, so I went on Ravelry and looked at so many crop tops and there is so many on there that are nice um, and I come across uh, this one which is called My Little Secret Crop now the lady that has um, made this pattern uh, Jessie May Mar Martin Martinson of Jessie Me Designs has this top for free at the moment you can opt to pay for the pattern or you can get it for free it's something really silly like a couple of pounds so I got this pattern and look at that top it looks so nice I'm sorry if it's a bit dark um, I printed it off and I've sorted out what size I need to make. It goes up to a 5XL. Um, so I've sorted out the size that I need to make. And I have um, sort of worked out yardage, meterage, whatever, whatever. And I could possibly make it out of this Aldi yarn. It's double knit pattern. And I could possibly make it out of this. Now, I'm thinking that this yarn would look really really nice because it's quite summery it's quite bright it's pink <laughs> um and yeah i'm gonna try and knit this pattern up and see what it looks like and if i run out of yarn then i'll just have to add something else um but this is so pretty and i've just been keeping this yarn for ages and as you can see i have tried using it but unraveled it again this is the yarn that smells a little bit so um i'm hoping that once it's washed or whatever it will be okay so that's the first thing then on her stories the same haul she had purchased a um cardigan now it's a crop cardigan let me just get you in the frame so this is the cardigan how beautiful is that cardigan and how nice would that be over a dress or whatever it just looks so nice anyway um, she does she brings it a bit closer is that gonna it's not gonna focus now is it <sighs> um, and I've only got one hand so are you gonna focus 
but anyway it's like a cabled top um i did go onto the asos website and it was quite expensive um i think it was like 18 pound um i can't warrant 18 pound on a cardigan at the moment when i could probably make my own <laughs> so uh that's one reason why I was looking online for sort of crop tops um, or not not crop crop but like crop cardigans and things and then I decided to um, look online or look on Ravelry for a cropped cardigan there are some really really nice patterns out there nothing that's sort of caught my eye um, there are long patterns that I could probably crop or make not make as as long um but i think for something like that it would have to be a top down so i can do it or try it on as i go sort of thing um because i have um sort of sorted out all of my summer clothes and i do have quite a lot of dresses i've got a dress on today so a long black uh, summer dress and yeah Anyway, that was that. So that's why I was on Ravelry this morning. And that's why I've downloaded that pattern. That's why I did some number number things this morning. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, also, I have uh, I put this dress on this morning, and I wanted something over my shoulders because I'm a bit red from the other day still. And I thought to myself, um, let me have a look through my wardrobe. So I had a look, and I pulled out the blue top that I had made that I have uh, the the blue tone the blue two tone shrug and I tried that on with this dress and it is beautiful. I didn't wear it today just because I thought it was going to be colder than what it was and it's not it's baking. <laughs> um and I have decided that this top is going to get frogged uh because it is just too big and i've decided that i'm going to make another another two-tone shrug but in the size in the normal size adding no stitches using the right hook i used a 5.5 for this and the pattern calls for a five um so i'm going to frog the whole thing because it is just too big and i really like the way the blue one fits me so this is going to get frogged this evening um i don't feel bad about it at all i don't feel gutted uh because i know that once i've got this frogged i can use this yarn to make a top that i will wear because this is just it's like a tent on me it's massive and i didn't really expect it to be so big um i thought just adding a couple of more stitches or repeats on would be okay it's not it's far too big um so this is going to get ripped back and then i'll be ha be able to wear this pink with like black dresses or pink dresses or whatever whatever um so that is that and then i have pulled out this yarn that i bought a few weeks back uh this is love hand dyed they're on etsy and I am going to ball this up to start my um, Hotel of B shawl that I won in a giveaway. Um, so yeah, I'm going to use this with another skein of yarn that I've got already caked up. The problem is I don't have a swift. So I'm thinking um, I did... I did very nicely ask Ian if he would sit there with his hands out and he refused. <laughs> he went, I'm not sitting there for ages with my hands out. I was like, okay. Uh, so what I'm thinking is balling it, hand balling this into a ball, not a cake or not my ball wind or anything. Because the last time I did that, all hell broke loose and I just got into the biggest tangle with the yarn that I'm going to use for this. So I'm going to hand wind this into a ball and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my table and wrap it round but then as I'm winding I will sort of go round with the skein. Um, has anyone else got a ball winder and not a swift and cake up, cakes up the skeins? Hanks? What are they called? It's a skein, isn't it? 
Hank, whatever, one of these anyway. Um, what do you do? If you could let me know. <laughs> uh, I'm just, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, I probably, uh, I've rambled on for 10 minutes now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry on vlogging for today. Um, I've quite missed vlogging. I know that sounds, I, I just, the editing part. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm just finding, not, I don't dread it. It's like, oh, I've got to go and edit now. Some days I really enjoy it, and other days I'm just like, I can't be bothered. <laughs> um, but the vlogging part, I love. I love showing you what I, ideas I've got in my head and everything. So, yeah, that is what's happened over the last uh, 24 hours since <laughs> I spoke to you. Um, so I've got a few things that I want to start. I want some, I've want got something I want to frog. I've made quite a lot of progress on Mikey's um, cardigan. Um, come here <laughs> I'm just pulling the yarn so I've made I've done this much progress I've split for the sleeves I haven't put them on cables because no I've just put them on um, scrap bits of yarn and I used this yarn <laughs> which is the brightest green I think you will ever see <laughs> um, and I just thought that's, that will be nice so I can pick up the stitches um, the only thing is this bit to this bit isn't much bigger than the one that I did Ollie um, and the front is completely straight there's no neck shaping at all it's completely straight so we shall see how this comes out but I'm pleased with it so far and now it's just knitting down to um, where I need to be for the ribbon and then picking up for the button band but top down oh I love it I love it so much um and there will be one for me in the future I can see it I can see it in my future when the COVID-19 is going to finish I can't see that I'm afraid <laughs> um or when we're going to get out of lockdown I can't see that but I can see many more of these in my future um just because I love them and they no seams no seams I'm using my bag which is not really big enough for this but it will do um, so what I'm gonna do I have got dinner on at the moment while dinner's on I'm just I'm just rendering so I can upload my video so while I'm waiting up to upload to, to YouTube this is going to be frogged um, it is sad I'm gonna frog it into a ball I think and then I can use my bowl to put the yarn in. Um, the same with this and the other cake that I've got. Anyway, I'm going to go because I've rambled on for 13 minutes. Hopefully you might get some inspiration from what I've told you. I don't know. Um, but that cardigan, oh my god. And then this morning, I was. this was before I was even dressed. And I was like, right, today I'm going to wear a dress. And I'm going to put this with it. I'm going to put that with it. Blah, 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 blah. And then I put something completely different with it. <laughs> um, but I have got a few dresses that look nice with sort of a crop top. Um, and I have made a Boohoo order. Um, it was only £30. And I know I said I couldn't afford the £18 for a um, cardigan. But... I have ordered a skirt that you saw on Jessie's Insta story just a second ago. The long black skirt. I have ordered a black dress, which is like just a summer dress. A little bit straps like this and it's, I think it's just below the knee. Um, and a pair of high-waisted shorts. And they're in black too. Um, <laughs> but I want to see how they fit and uh, maybe like I don't know I'm gonna see how they fit but uh yeah so that's that anyway I better put my potatoes in the oven and uh, Ian should be home shortly we've got pork for dinner with um a crackling top and the last couple of times that I've done it the top hasn't actually gone crackly like hard but by the looks of it this has so yum um I just need to put the potatoes in put the veg on and we're good to go um I don't know if to do stuffing or not can I be bothered I don't know
sorry about the terrible lighting, um, but that took longer than I thought. <laughs> Not that you can really see the colour of it. <laughs> um, because I think because of the wall content, it sort of um, felt in a little bit. Um, I don't know, I'm going to see how I get on with this and just carry on basically. Um, dinner's nearly ready, so going to carry on with this, watch some YouTube on the laptop as it's already on and I'm sat here anyway so uh, video is now live um, so yeah let's carry on winding yarn <laughs> so I have successfully with Ian's help uh, balled up this yarn I just it's not very ball shape <laughs> it's very oval um, but it will be ready to use with this bash my head with this really nice pink yarn that isn't focusing there you go um for the hotel of bees shawl and i'm really looking forward to start starting that um i have caked up or <laughs> unraveled should i say the rest of the top so the top is no more and i will start that in the next couple of days i don't want to leave the yarn like this for too long because it is quite a tight ball even though i wound round my hand or my fingers um the <laughs> the end bit i just couldn't hold <laughs> anymore so i just wrapped it round um so yeah that's that um i'm going to work a little bit on the cardigan Mikey's cardigan and uh, yeah that's it for this evening thank you all so much for watching this unexpected vlog because I wasn't going to vlog this weekend but I just got too excited and needed to tell you and think that I had planned <laughs> so thank you for watching and I shall see you all tomorrow bye